You don't really know much about Halloween. Welcome to another Sinister Snacks. I'm your host, Laura. I'm Joe. And we're the Nilly Dads. We are the Nilly Dads. And we are back with a very sinister snack. I found these at Woodman's, and I'm a little afraid of them. They had other flavors that I was looking at that I'm like, oh, those would be interesting because they were normal savory flavors. But then we saw these and said, no, no. Yeah. We're going to eat this. Because who doesn't love dessert pork rinds? This one is called Pork King Good. And it Get says it? that they <laughs> present birthday cake flavored dessert pork rinds. And this is old timey butterscotch. <laughs> which, again, <laughs> why because dessert pork rinds is exactly what I want. This says, let's get real. What jerk decided that birthday cake's only meant for once a year? Pork King Good is bringing you an everyday celebration for your face with these very vanilla birthday cake dessert flavored pork rinds. So happy, probably not your birthday to you. Check out a few of our other signature pork rind flavors. They've got cinnamon chur woe butterscotch, apple cinnamon, white cheddar, dill pickle, stupid hot ranch, and that's not all. This one says, inspired by grandma's warm purse candy, if you know, you know, this rich, sweet, and buttery blend combined with our salty, fluffy pork rinds is the flavor mashup that you never knew you needed. One word, magic. Hashtag, thanks, Nana. It, um, al it also, sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, I like salty sweet, but this makes me nervous because I'm not a fan of pork rinds anyway. Um, but... It, well, it also says that they've got, um, so it says, did you know we also make pork rind crumb? Uh, it's a breadless alternative to tra traditional breadcrumbs, which is kind of neat, I so guess. And then people. it says, be sure to check out their unique seasonings for all of your cooking needs. Um, it looks like they are located in Wisconsin. Oh, that makes sense. And it's a women-owned small business. Okay. So that's that's all kind of cool. We're always willing to give everybody a chance, they, even if we're not. They're not on Instagram on and on Facebook at Pork King Good. Both of them is their thing. And they had a whole display at Woodman's, and they had the savory ones that we were originally like, oh, well, maybe we should get these or try these. And then once we sell those, we just put the other ones back. They were kind of by the tortilla so, chips. And stuff. Yeah, they were by the tortilla stuff. Um... If we like these, which I have a feeling we were going to be mixed up, because do you like pork rinds at all? Not usually. I my kid likes them sometimes um, because their significant other also is a fan. So they, they just normally kind of they normally just don't have a flavor. It just tastes like. I feel like I should love these because yeah. I love like skin. We like ham. Um, we yeah. like pig. <laughs> we like chicken skin. I like yeah. turkey skin. I like all the skin. Uh, I'm just Hannibal Lecter, apparently, at they heart. They don't really have a f scent. But pork rinds have never spoke to me. Like, I've never understood the appeal of mm -hmm. a pork rind. And I've tried a bunch. I've I've even tried... Uh, I don't know if I've tried the fresh ones. But I'm sure some spicy ones I've, I've, I've tried and, and said that that was fine. But, yeah. I mean, I feel like I should like these. And maybe, maybe pork and good, maybe you're going to be the one that makes me fall in love. I don't know. You know what I need is a bacon-flavored pork rind. <laughs> That's funny. That... It's funny. It would make sense. Ham flavored. Yeah. Ready? Yes. Cheers, cheers for you too. too. So just so you guys know, we're doing the ba uh, birthday cake one first. Yeah, it always tastes like styrofoam. <laughs> you know. Right. Well, as far as the birthday cake thing, I think the flavor that you're getting most here to represent the birthday cake is like a vanilla. Is that what you're getting? Yeah, it's pretty mild though. 
It just kind of tastes like a sweet, not even that sweet, mm -hmm. pork rind. I'm wondering if we need to like shake up the seasoning. I mean, you don't want to overpower the porkiness with. Yeah. It I'm definitely getting a salty sweet combo. Oh, that's what's got the more. The bag real quick while you're doing that. Pork rinds cooked in pork fat, uh, turbano sugar, salt, and pure vanilla extract. Look at this guy. Check out this guy with his uh, mm -hmm. taste Palette. buds, my palates. So here's what I'm going to say so far. Yes, ma'am. Out of all the pork rinds I've eaten, I like these oh, best. Simply because like the pork rind flavor isn't, sometimes it's got that weird fat taste or like I don't know how to describe it. There's a difference between a low grade pork rind and a high grade pork rind. They just and have this... like, some of them have that weird aftertaste <clears throat> or whatever. These don't. They're like crunchy, light, airy, just a hint of like sweetness and I also a little bit of vanilla. But if, because you know, when you buy like mass produced pork rinds that are made at halfway across the they've country. They've got chemicals in them. By the time they get to you, they've been in a bag for six months or whatever. They don't These taste are, like chemicals. Right. That were shipped directly from Wisconsin, which is, you know, 15 minutes that way. They, they, they taste pretty fresh. So I'm wondering if part of it is the freshness yeah. factor. But I agree. As far as like pork rinds go. I could actually keep eating those and I wouldn't be good. mad at it. And it's not a You're dessert. You're doing a good it doesn't, job. It doesn't taste desserty to me. Okay. Oh, is that butterscotchy? No, I'm going to let you smell it. Oh, that actually gives a, a, a strong smell of uh, now, Grandma. Um, I don't want these in your purse or in in the tray at, at your house. Um, <clears throat> but I don't know. I could yeah, be wrong. Yeah, these these smell like butterscotch. This when you opened it, it smells like a butterscotch <clears throat> candy. And yeah, I, I I used to like butterscotch. Not oh, I used to love those. butterscotch discs because you know Grandma. Grandma used to give them to me. I'm not as much of a fan anymore. I think I overdid it. Cheers, Cheers for you, number two. two. I love my wife. Hmm. Hmm. I have thoughts. Did you did you cleanse your palate before you tried this? No. <laughs> no. Do you have your coffee? Mm -mm. Water? Mm -mm. Anything? Mm -mm. Oh, it's gonna say. Should uh, have water <clears throat> over there. Oh, I was gonna say you should. I was gonna give you my coffee. <laughs> He's getting up in the middle. I'm back. Oh. I just say because I don't know if it's a different experience, but it feels like like I hit the reset. Mm. Mm hmm. Um, what do you think? I know what I think. Well, first of all, <clears throat> I want to apologize to Pork and Good for any disparaging comments I made at the beginning. Um, that doesn't mean that I love these. That just means that you kind of got something. I love them. Um, They're so good. I would be, I would be willing to try other their other flavors. Yeah. Um, specifically the ranch and the dill pickle. Oh, the white cheddar, maybe. But um, the stupid hot. I, yeah. No, I'm not a hot guy. These are salty and sweet. And like, it, it smells like butterscotch. It doesn't have that weird pork rind taste, like I was saying before. You know, that chemical kind of, I was trying to look for a little one. And it's not to the point of like weird level of butterscotch flavor not that that's necessarily a thing that some people would be like oh you're crazy that's not a thing but i actually think i prefer the birthday cake and i'm not a huge vanilla guy mm. to the butterscotch oh these are mine then i think it's just because the butterscotch thing has a has a uh, in my head it's got a, a stigma but i agree with laura that um you're good I, i'm not a, a pork rind guy and this is actually a I kind of understand a little more what some people might love about them. Not that I'm going to become a pork rind guy. I but I'm think. a porking good guy. <laughs> but I give them a lot of credit for 
having a, a good product that actually made me go, okay, I kind of get it. So. Uh, yep, so on a scale of 1 to 10. Are we rating them separately or together? Do you feel that they're equally? Yeah. Do you need to. Oh, no, I, I feel like they're similar enough. But you can do them together? Mm-hmm. Oh, you're asking me to go first? Mm-hmm. Um, compared, I'm doing this based on all the other pork rinds yes, I've ever had in my I'm not life. basing it on chips or anything else. No, I'm this just is thinking strictly, strictly based pork on rinds. Any pork rinds I've ever had in my life, which I've never had one that I wanted to eat more than two. This I would actually consider eating more. Yep. Um, and I'm, I'm going this route because I'm thinking that we'll try the other ones on another video mm -hmm. or at later date. Six. Yeah, I'm going to go eight. Wow. Because they actually made me like a pork rind. That is a bold statement. Mm -hmm. And the only reason I'm giving it an eight was because I didn't really get much flavor on the birthday cake one. It <laughs> probably would have been almost a ten. Out of all pork rinds I've ever eaten, ever, they're probably the best. I mean, that's pretty big. Yeah. Big so good job, porking good. Two thumbs up. All right. If they want to find us on Boy. the internet, where should they where should they go? They could stop by the newlydeads.com, which hopefully we will be doing something here in we the are. new year because by the time you see this, it'll be 2024. Uh, right now we are currently in the past and Happy New Year. So happy new year to you. Tomorrow's New Year's <coughs> Eve. It is New Year's Eve tomorrow. Um, but uh, yeah, we're hoping to have some fun things for you in the new year. And if you know if you're gonna celebrate, might as well celebrate with some weird pork, pork rinds, rinds and make your friends go, oh, why not? Why not? All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, we'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>